Hurt My Feelings is written and directed by Nicole Holofet. Uh, Holo Fisener, hope I'm pronouncing that right, stars Julia Lewis, Louis, Lewis, whatever, uh, Dreyf, Dreyfus, Tobias, Men, Menzies, Michelia, uh, Michella, Michella, so sorry, Watkins, sorry for that, uh, Aaron Moyd and Owen T, uh, Tiga, and is a story off a novelist's long, long-standing marriage is suddenly appended when she overhears her husband giving his honest reaction to her latest book. Hello, you rare beautiful movie lovers. My name is Louie, aka Movie Phantom, and today we're talking about You Hurt My Feelings. You, you didn't hurt my feelings, by the way, if you were confused, sorry. Uh, but yeah, this is the directorial, uh, I believe. The, um, uh, this is the Dark Turtle debut off, um, uh, no, not the Dark Turtle debut, off, um, off Nicole Holfeiser, sorry, that was her Dark Turtle debut, uh, the, she has been a writer, uh, for movies such as, uh, Can You Ever Forgive Me and The Last Duel. Um, and this movie premiered at Sundance of this year, which is how I heard about it. And I got curious to see it, now that I have finally seen it, because it's dropped on Prime recently, and so I finally watched it. What did I think of this movie? Well, I liked it. I thought this was pretty funny. It has some nice horror and humor, and it mixes them both perfectly, the story is great, and uh, let me tell you why. First off, we're going to have to talk about the main performance from Julia Louis-Dreyfus. Uh, she plays a character called Beth, who is kind of an asshole. I'm not going to lie. Uh, basically, her and her sister are kind of assholes, but I will say they do get more likable until, until the end comes, and... They are really good characters, specifically Beth. She is really great. Julia Lewis-Dreyfus gives a great performance. She feels real. She has emotions, and I loved her. I loved her in this movie. But her, um, but I'm not going to say she's my favorite character of this movie. My personal favorite character has to be Dawn, her husband by Tobias Menzies who, uh, Menzies, sorry, uh, who is, uh, her husband, and he is great, she does get more screen time, and I do wish he did get a lot more screen time than he did, but he is absolutely hilarious, he can steal the show, he is so funny, also Owen Tigo, uh, I'm not tr pronouncing that right, who plays their, uh, son, and he was also, he also played the son in Two Leslie, which is really good. I'd highly recommend it, by the way. Um, and he's really great in here, especially one scene he was great in. <coughs> the acting in this movie is great. How about the writing? It's really good. Like I said, it blends comedy and drama perfectly together. And it also has a nice message on you... Mania, be honest with the people who you love, and it's honestly kind of a nice message. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, not mention uh, the cinematography and lighting, it's really good, and it also gives a much more realistic tone to it. And I think it really works, especially in one scene that uh, was marketed uh, um, before it had a trailer um, when it premiered at Sundance, and that scene is beautifully lit. It's Amazing. It looks it looks absolutely gorgeous and I love that scene. Also there is a hilarious scene um near the end. Uh I'm not gonna spoil it for you, but if you've seen the movie, I think you know what I mean with it. Uh also this movie is 93 minutes long and it really does fit it. While there are times I do 
feel like it could have been longer. I will say it has, it's pretty nice. It's a pretty good runtime and it doesn't overstay its welcome. I did want to see more of these characters, but still, it does have a nice fit with it. And while it is a little eh at times, but so it, it really does work with it. Also, there is a, also there is a, um, an ongoing joke. Well, not really a joke, but still, it is mostly played for laughs with uh, Don's character, with Don, because uh, he is a therapist, and he is really funny as a therapist with the people who he sees, and also one part towards the end, which is honestly pretty emotional, and it really works, um, with two, a, an incredibly toxic couple, and I'm not gonna lie, like, with what happens, he basically just steals the show. It's not bombastic like Jim Carrey as the Riddler bombastic. Bombast. Blah. You know what I mean. <laughs> but it's really well done, and it's honestly kind of hilarious, and he steals the show. He He's not overacting or anything. He's basically acting like the same he is, and... It's really, it really works. If I had to say issues, I'd say the score felt inappropriate at times. Like, it's nice and all, but I felt like it was misplaced at scenes, honestly. And it does, it, it does have a nice tone. It is a piano, but it does sort of, um, overstay its welcome, as in, like, it, it doesn't really work. I, like, it, it didn't feel like it. I felt like if this movie had no score, I feel like it, yeah, cool, cool, but like it, it felt a little misplaced for me. Um, but overall, this movie's great. I would highly recommend this movie. It's flawed, but it's really well done. Overall, I give You Hurt My Feelings a B. So, those are my thoughts on You Hurt My Feelings. What did you think of it? Did you love it? Hate it? Let's agree, disagree down below in the comments. Come on, tell me. Uh, like I said in my last review for The Mech 2, uh, my reviews for Gran Turismo and Haunted Mansion will be coming up. And also soon I will be going to Edinburgh International Film Festival because I live in Edinburgh. And I will be seeing uh, four or five movies, if I'm not mistaken. So yeah. Uh, I may do separate videos for that, or I may just review them all in one video. So yeah, that's it right now. Yeah. Stay awesome.